Hey everyone, welcome to the Reddit branch. Today we have interesting stories from Reddit that I would love to hear your opinion about. So feel free to let me know what you think down in the comment section. If you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for content like this every day. First story, am I the a-hole for not inviting my dad to my graduation? Until about 7, I... 24 female had a pretty normal middle class life. However, my parents ended up losing their business and their house, and my dad really went off the deep end. He was an alcoholic, went on log benders, ended up in jail a lot, and cheated on my mom repeatedly. When I was 11, he abandoned us semi permanently by moving to South Dakota from Texas and staying there for two years. He was the sole provider before that, but he did not share that money with us slash my mom didn't have access. So we went hungry for many years. My mom ended up correcting once they separated, we got food stamps, moved into public housing, she finished her degree, etc. It was difficult but much more stable. I had absolutely no tolerance for my dad's behavior, and my respect for him was at zero by the time I was a teenager. He returned to Texas but he never decided to be an actual parent again. He drifted around occasionally but avoided all child support payments. Anyway, I decided I was going to work hard to improve my future. I got a full ride to a top college. I was well respected on campus and my graduation was special to me. It was three days of various ceremonies, dinners, lunches, etc. I had spoken to my dad maybe twice in the four years I have been away, and I do feel like I succeeded in life in spite of him, so it never occurred to me to invite him. I genuinely didn't believe he should get to share in my accomplishment as if it were his own. I found out that he was planning to come, even though I had not invited him, but I wanted my weekend to be stress-free. His behavior is extremely unpredictable, he is loud, likes to be the center of attention, and it would have made me nearly physically ill to watch him speaking with people as if he knows me and contributed to my success. When I told my family I didn't want him there, they all ganged up on me and told me that I should just let him come because he's my father, to keep the peace. They can tolerate him better and tend to abuse him because he's really volatile. So I ended up having to defend myself against everyone. They ended up reducing me to tears after pressuring me for hours. But I still felt strongly that I could not have him there. I ended up calling him and explaining that he was not invited. I stated that he knew our relationship was not really there and I would hope he could take it maturely. The conversation went well enough, surprisingly, and I had a wonderful graduation. However, he did later lash out, texting me randomly throughout the next year, calling me names, this has only made me more certain that he shouldn't have been there and I have no regrets about that. However, I now have a reputation in my family for being cold. It comes up pretty often and it just bothers me. So am I the a-hole? People replied in the comments with, You're not the a-hole. They're pressuring you for doing something and instead of asking him to change his behavior and grow up, which he won't do anyways, he would have just ruined an important moment for you. Don't stress about it. You're not the a-hole, and his reaction afterwards should make you feel justified in not inviting him. He may be your dad, but he's not entitled to a relationship when it's convenient for him when he didn't put in the time or effort as your family struggled. It always surprises me when parents leave for years on end and expect their kids to welcome them back with open arms once the tough times are gone. That's not how the stuff works. You're not the a-hole. Did the family that pressured you and criticized you feed and provide for you when your dad was a deadbeat? Did they pressure him to pay child support and be an active parent? Next story, am I the a-hole for kicking my ex-girlfriend and her son out even though I know they cannot support themselves? My girlfriend, now ex, and I broke up a few days ago. We broke up because she basically said that my daughter is not her child so she won't help with her. I realized she was a narcissist and gold digger. I am loaded. Also her son became an all-rounder jerk. In the area we live, Rent can be a few thousand dollars a month, which is way too much for her to afford. So when we were together, I paid for everything as she does not make much money and she wouldn't be able to live in this area on her salary. Well, since we broke up, we really hate each other and I want her out as soon as possible. She started yelling at me, saying how she wouldn't be able to afford to live on her own. She has exhaust- <laughs>
invested all of her savings on stupid stuff and she and her son will be homeless. She told her friends and now they are coming after me. My phone won't stop buzzing. I told her it's not my fault she has a small salary. 30,000 a year because she runs her own business when she could easily make 100,000 using her degree. And she wastes her money on stupid cosmetic surgeries, clothes and makeup and other stuff. I called her poor in front of her kid, which I admit is wrong. Apparently, I am poor shaming her. So am I the a-hole for kicking my ex-girlfriend and her son out knowing they will be unable to support themselves and poor shaming her? People replied in the comments with, It's a bad situation, but if it's your place and you're no longer together, she needs to figure this out. She's an adult, you're not the a-hole. You're not the a-hole, they aren't your problem. You do not owe her housing or anything else. Pluck her friends, pluck her, and move on with your life. You are very thorough, even included a summary. I feel like Mori Bovich. You are not the father, I mean, the a-hole. Simply, you broke up because your needs were not being met. She can no longer live with you. You have no obligations beyond that. Giving her a few days notice would be nice though. Your girlfriend is not entitled to live rent-free in your home. Your relationship is over. If her friends are so concerned, they can take her in. If you want to cut her a break and give her time to make a plan, tell her that she needs to do chores or pay rent. You're not the a-hole. Next story, am I the a-hole for controlling my mom? I, 13 male, have a bit of a rocky relationship with my mother. Bit of a background, she was hit by a truck when she was 7 which may have messed her up a bit. She is also diagnosed with bipolar disorder, don't know which type. I have a list of issues I have with our relationship but I want to discuss specifically a few things because of a recent disagreement that happens often. She calls me controlling and manipulative because I ask her a few things. She calls me names constantly, nearly everything and anything you can think of. I have only called her something for the first time in my whole life and it just slipped out. One thing that I absolutely hate specifically is that she calls me like my father. She doesn't say things positively like most people do. He was an abusive jerk who left and she only calls me that when she's mad so I know she knows what she's doing. We go to therapy together and I have brought it up that it bothers me extremely and that I would prefer for her to not say it. After I brought this up in Serbia, I have noticed she started to use it more. Oh well, when she says that, I want to slam my head through a wall and she knows it and continue to do it. She constantly says I eat too little and I hate that. She serves me two or three times as much as her. I'm a 5 foot 2 13 year old boy and she's a fully grown woman. Doctors say I'm a perfect weight and well nourished and she has called me anorexic once. Which I consider offensive to the people who actually struggle with this disorder. I have expressed several times that I dislike that she constantly says this. Someday I physically cannot shove more food into my stomach without throwing up and she will get mad. She throws things a lot, it bothers me, it scares the dog who hides under my bed and I'm the one who has to pick it up. She always apologizes for whatever, then she turns around and does it again the next day. She recently tried to spin it into me not letting her do anything in her own house and that I want her mute and now she's not talking. Am I the a-hole here? People replied in the comments with, You're not the a-hole. She's clearly abusive. I would call child service. You do not deserve to be around that energy. You're not controlling at all. You're asking your mother to treat you as a human being. She's abusive just like your father. See if you have got any other family who can keep you with them until CBS can be involved. She's not mentally capable to continue being a mother until she's actually going to individual therapy and working on her behavioral problems. You're not the a-hole. She's guilt tripping you and honestly it's kinda abusive. You should talk to your therapist alone about how she acts. I'm sorry this is happening to you. This concludes all the stories we have for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to share your opinions in the comment section down below. Until next time.